What's happening everybody? Welcome to the Art Studio. I'm Charles Maring and today we're going to do a tech talk surrounding the Light and Motion CLX 10 that you're seeing here. A very powerful 10,000 lumen light that is weather sealed and has a lot of cool options and creativity built into it. And I've got lots of photographs and video clips to share on how we're using this. We'll go through the different light shaping tools that come in the photo kit. So stay tuned. So as professional artists, we have jobs that come to us for photography that need a little video. We have projects that come to us for video that need a little photography. The ability to switch back and forth seamlessly is incredibly important to us. Uh, and so the CLX-10 and the lights from Light in Motion make that really simplified uh, due to their capabilities in terms of color, their durability in terms of being weather sealed and allowing us to work in harsher environments and the fact that they are battery powered as well. Um, so these have quickly become some of our favorite lights to work with in our studio. I've got lots of photographs and video clips to share. We'll go through it all with you. First and foremost, let's take a close up look. Um, the CLX-10 has a beautiful reflector kind of built into it. Uh, the LED lamp here, it's about 120 degrees. We'll share some imagery momentarily. If we look on top of it, you have the ability to unlock it by turning this little dial here. And then there's three buttons on top. The first button, you turn it on and it allows you to keep pushing it. You can go brighter, 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 all the way up to 10,000 lumens. Of course, darker, 8,000 lumens, 6,000 lumens, 4,000 lumens, 200, 2,000 lumens, 1,000, 500, and that's about as far as it goes down. Um, and then you turn it off with the center button here. If we look on the back, the entire time it is kind of explaining itself to us here. This is where you can plug it in as well. So uh, we'll go over the battery life of it. You can also plug it in and have unlimited runtime. And yes, uh, the built-in bracket has an umbrella adapter also. <laughs> and so that's kind of the, the simple workings of this light. And let's get into some of the specs and details and then we'll share some photographs as well. So yes, this is the Light in Motion Stella Light CLX 10 Photo Kit that we're gonna be talking about today. There's a lot of light shaping tools that come in the kit and the ability to expand beyond those light shaping tools as well. The built-in uh, reflector that's just the straight up head is about 120 degree flood, 10,000 lumens at max. The battery life um, is interesting because it has a charge time of only 75 minutes for the entire thing. You get about 55 minutes, give or take, of full power runtime on the battery at 10,000 lumens, but you can get up to 15 hours uh, at 500 lumens. So that's pretty powerful as well. Unlimited runtime when plugged in. We mentioned weather sealed, the ability to work in harsh environments, uh, and the temperature out of the box is 5600K, so a daylight balanced head. I should mention that you can also carry with you additionally um, a tungsten head and swap them out. The tungsten head comes in at about $400, uh, but a nice little option. And you can also, uh, that takes this to 3200 Kelvin temperature. And then there are CTO filter sets. If you just want to warm it up incrementally from 5600 as well, uh, that is certainly an option just mounting it on the front here. So um, let's dive into some of the light shaping tools. This is the bag that everything comes in. It has a nice little uh, shoulder bag there and then inside there's lots of tools which we'll go over many of them now as we talk about photography. Now in my studio uh, I have a lot of paintings much like you see here. We will light the paintings uh, utilizing DJ lighting. Let me give you a glimpse of that and that DJ lighting is just forever kind of in cycle changing colors uh, in our studio and lighting the paintings or the walls in creative ways. It's just a way to add some ambiance to our space, have it more theatrical inside uh, and if you see the painting behind me, you can see it's doing the same thing, just kind of shifting colors on the paintings themselves. So we have two light sources in all the photographs I'm about to share with you. One being the CLX-10 as our key light or main light, and then the LED G DJ lighting, just kind of adding some glow and warmth to things as well. Uh, let's give you a glimpse. Now, our first setup here, because I want to go through what is possible with this, this is just using the built-in kind of well, reflector, the wide flood that comes with it. 
And as you can see, I've got it up about a 45 degree angle up high to the left of my wife. And as she moves in video here, you can see flicker free. I'm at 60 frames per second. But I love how you can balance incandescent lights in the distance, lamps, or at DJ light that's glowing. And look at that skin tone. Perfect for video. That's just setting my camera at 5600 and letting it go. And then just a couple of stills here. Yes, you can shoot stills. You could also pull frames from the video, which is uh, a lot of times what we'll do these days. Working at 60p on my Lumix S1, uh, you know, we've got enough information there and enough um, shutter speed, if you will, to kind of stop the action and pull stills as long as the subject isn't moving incredibly fast. Of course, we could always ramp up our shutter speed as well. Uh, there's another way I'll use just the straight up beam as well, um, a couple different ways. Uh, and one of those is I have just this white canvas in my studio that I've painted with white acrylic. And a lot of times I'll use this just bouncing it off of that and it becomes my key light, the bounced light. So thinking more like a filmmaker would. And look at the wraparound lighting that you get with this. It's very soft, very portrait-like, pleasing to the eye. So whether I'm doing video or whether I'm doing stills, a lot of times bouncing this off of a white wall or a white scenario works out really well. And look at some of these stills. Again, just one light source, just the CLX-10, bounced off of that white canvas. Of course, our lighting in the distance just kind of changing colors and shifting. And it just gives a really pleasing, soft kind of light uh, when working that way. Uh, I want to mention another way that I'll use it. Now, this is so powerful that you can set it outside on a day like today. And if you don't have sun outside, aim it through the windows and you really get a beautiful, it feels like sunlight pouring through the windows like an HMI would do because at 10,000 lumens, it can give that effect. In our studio though, I happen to have a wall and I'll give you a glimpse of that here that uh, it's a door that leads to an office out of our studio, our viewing room. And that door is a sliding door that has uh, just frosted glass on it. So I'll set this inside of our little office there and aim it through the door. And then that becomes, the door becomes my main light or my key light for my subject. And so it gives a really pretty lighting, kind of moody sometimes if the subject is far away from it. And then of course, give you a few stills in this example. And as we capture stills, we get our subjects close to the light source. We get this really soft wraparound kind of effect to things. So there's just so many ways that you can use the built-in creatively. But what is fun about this light is there are also other options available as well. And let's get into some of the light shaping tools. Um, inside here we have a Fresnel that just kind of mounts on the front here. And the nice thing about the Fresnel is it gives a little more Hollywood drama to our photographs, if you will. It's more contrasty light. It isolates the subject incredibly well. Let's share a few examples, whoops, with you as well. Um, here you can see it's just a little bit more glamour type of lighting. Again, lighting our subject and isolating our subject. This is also really powerful because it's isolating the light. If you're outdoors, it's a powerful beam and it really helps to aid in fill light and direct sun as well. Uh, if you're on the streets or something like that and need a little fill in the sun. Um, and again, just mounts right on there. It's a hard 25 degree spot beam. Let's give you a, a look at this. We've got it up really high in our studio and it's just kind of aimed down and you'll kind of get a glimpse of a little video clip here. Do you see how much drama it adds to the actual lighting here? Uh, so anytime you want to have a really contrasty but isolating your subject glamorously type of look, this light does it really well. And up high like this aimed down, you really get kind of that butterfly lighting effect, that Hollywood effect to things. Just a couple of stills also using the Fresnel here to kind of guide you on the possibilities of what you can do when you add this Fresnel to the actual light itself. So what else do we have? Um, oh, there's a 50 degree optic as well, which can be added via the barn doors on the front here. And the 50 degree optic is, is a narrow beam. It narrows this 120 straight up to 50 degrees. 
And it really, though, has a real beautiful roll off to things. So it's not spotted like the Fresnel was. It really kind of lights the whole scene, if you will, but definitely helps to separate your subject just a little bit. So just to give you a glimpse of this light, uh, not as contrasty as a Fresnel, right? But a little bit more focused than the other. There's another shaping tool inside I don't have photographs with, but it is a diffuser. Of course, this is just great to throw light everywhere. Um, maybe you wanna light the whole room and have the whole scene just kind of neutrally lit. Good way to do that. There is a gel holder inside as well. So you can put colored lighting if you wish. Uh, there's a remote control, incredibly useful obviously because when you get it up high, uh, I don't wanna climb on a ladder to have to adjust my lighting. So just use the remote to turn it on and off and uh, control the different powers of the light. Uh, I think I've got some more examples too. Let's get into, yes. Beyond the light shaping tools that come in the kit, there is also a Profoto adapter in the photo kit. And what's beautiful about that is I can use all of my Profoto light shaping tools as well. Here's a good example. I am a huge fan of the Soft White Beauty Dish. We have a 25 degree honeycomb grid in it. Uh, and beauty dishes are just that. It gives this beautiful, kind of somewhat soft, yet somewhat edgy lighting. That's kind of an oxymoron, but it, it, it does. As you'll see in the stills, it just, it's, a, it's beautiful lighting. That's the only thing you need to know. Uh, but yes, I can add my light shaping tools from Profoto to these um, light in motion CLXs. And, now you can see the DJ lights just behind her. It's lighting her hair, kind of rim lighting her shoulders as we move along. Uh, great way to do kind of glamor photography, if you will, as well. So that's a wrap on kind of the CLX-10, just a little insight to how we're using it, the different light shaping tools, how you can expand beyond it. Um, also inside, I should mention, yes, there is a brick where you can you know, power it this way as well, keep it on all the time. Uh, but it's a, it's a really powerful light that we've been using in a lot of creative ways here in our studio, as you can see, uh, and kind of our go-to, especially when we need to do video and photography, uh, makes a world of difference. And just the skin tone out of this light is just so pretty. Absolutely love it. So big fan, as you can already tell. If you want to learn more, you can visit lightinmotion.com and go over all their lights. They have more than photography driven lights, but they also have dive lighting, they have lights for bikes, uh, and all sorts of other things, and various different uh, lights for photography and cinematography as well. Lots of different options there. So thank you to Light in Motion for sending this out to us to give us some opportunity to work with it. Uh, and yeah, this is now one of my favorite lights. I was working with the CLX-8 before, which we absolutely love. The 10 is just a little bit more powerful, giving us a little bit more power when we're working outdoors. So, so glad to have this and uh, look forward to working with this even more in our next adventure coming up soon. Stay tuned on our channel, lots of news coming uh, in the coming weeks or so. Uh, and we'll be sharing some details of our next adventure, which will involve a lot of travel where this light is gonna be incredibly important because it's going to allow us to have something that is uh, weather sealed for video and photography out in the real world. So. Look forward to sharing more of our travels. And with that said, thank you guys for joining us. And if you have any questions, reach out. We appreciate you. Have a great one. Take care.